Maker Fair is an event where lots of creative people, people who make things, anything, you know, whether it be someone tinkering with electronics in their back shed, or someone making something which might change the world, or, or creating something beautiful, can come, show off their work in a non-commercial environment. It's not about selling, it's about sharing the making, and sharing the love of making. Printing is uh, taking plastic filament, melting it, squeezing it out like it's toothpaste uh, coming out of a tube and moving it around very steadily to create patterns and then layers on top of the patterns. So you build up an object uh, because the layers of hot plastic roll themselves to each other. So uh, I'm Lewis Sykes, I'm a researcher based at Manchester Met. Uh, my project here at Maker Fair in Brighton is to show my instrument which uh, I'm trying to visualise sound with, but not to visualise sound in an artistic, interpretive way, but to try and find a very direct and elemental connection between what you see and what you hear. Conductive and we make non-toxic water-soluble conductive paint and we make it in a pen and we make it in a jar and you can do um, all kinds of projects with it so you can use it to do simple circuits and you can also use it to do more sophisticated projects like with Arduinos and all these projects that we have here today are supported on our website with tutorials um, and cool projects that other people have done. We're technology will save us. Um, we are an alternative space or a haberdashery for technology. We believe that uh, technology is something that you can make and not just consume. Um, we do workshops. Uh, this is this is one of our most popular things or kits. It's a little synthesizer called Lumiphone. So if you come to our workshops, you get to get to build one. Um, we have other products as well, like this really cool shade. Um, thirsty plant. We have a we have a workshop today on this. It's a simple circuit that tells if the plant uh, needs watering. table tennis or augmented table tennis so, so when you play rather than having just a clippy cloppy sound you, you sort of build a kind of a sound sculpture that, um, from a library of, sort of sounds and samples that we've sort of pre-programmed. How did this come about? Um, well I mean I'm a member of the Bill Brighton Experts and um, Will came along to, to Bill Brighton for some advice on the sensing part of the table and we kind of got chatting about it and came up with this idea of doing a kind of a triangulation, <laughs> triangulation thing. So rather than sort of actually physically putting lots and lots of microphones all over the table to get the position of the ball, we only have four microphones and we kind of calculate by the time the um, sound takes against the microphone and where the position of the ball on the table is. Then we send that to a computer which then generates the sounds. The imagination and the enthusiasm of the people who were talking about it and looking at it, I, I thought that was really exciting. Yeah, we like the uh, 3D printing and sound things. And it's all very colourful, very friendly. Very, very good. Really, I think I hope it goes on for years because I think every year the children get something different from it.